So what we see here is a function which calculates the area of a circle using a rejection technique. Uh, we use four headers, the random number generator header, no big surprise, IO stream, CMath, we're going to take a square root, so we're going to need that, and vector. And of course the standard, we work in the namespace standard. So what we do is we define a function pi sample, which takes an integer and returns a number of arguments, and that's why we return them com uh, combined into a vector, just to make our life a little easier. We start the random number generator and we choose the default one in this case and we actually then want to have numbers distributed between minus one and one which we're going to do. Uh, we keep do some bookkeeping on the number of count arguments and then we keep going on there. So we iterate for n steps and n is the input parameter and we generate a value of x and a value of y and essentially if the value of x plus y squared is less than or equal to 1, we increase the number of counts. And some of you may want to ask you why this square root is not necessary. Uh, then at the end we return a vector which is the count divided by 1.0 times n because otherwise we don't want an integer division, this forces it not to be integer, and we want the square root of count which is one of our error estimates. And then at the end we say for, I, for 1 to 6 we actually do uh, a sample for the thing between between 10 and a million of these elements. Um, we could easily have done a lot more. This is very, a very fast piece of code. And essentially then we give some sensible output. You may want to run this code to see what, the, what you think this output means.